video is going to be a Q&A featuring the Reese. For those of you that don't know, this is my boyfriend of almost six years. Yes, we are in fact dating. All right, so I asked you guys on Instagram what questions you had for us, and we got over a thousand questions. Whoa. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, I picked like seven. Was it weird for Reese for you to be so close to your ex-boyfriend? I wish everyone was like Reese. Um, I'm- Thank you. I'm, I know, right? Like, you're so awesome. I'm not close with Randy. You guys have seen four videos, but that was the first time I had seen Randy, our entire relationship. Is that really? Other than just a pass in yeah, passing. Yeah, you passed him a couple times. Then. Yeah, I had seen him in passing, Um, but yeah, when I filmed with him a few months back, that was the first time I had seen Randy. Wow. Our relationship or our friendship to now has just been on the phone. So it hasn't been difficult because he's not like over at the house eating our food or Correct, something awkward, yeah. you know what I mean? I think, you know, there were, there were definitely, you know, we have, we understand what the boundaries are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's a Randy's coming over for dinner. Yeah, you know, I think <laughs> that we understand what is acceptable to the other person, yeah. not what's acceptable to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. um, I and, tell you when he yeah, calls. Yeah, and we 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 respect that. You know, yeah. so absolutely. You know, I think it's it's definitely it, it is a boundaries issue, and it's not an issue. But yeah, I, I don't think it's weird. Yeah, I, I think other people might think it's weird. I agree, but his sobriety matters more, and it's something that we talk in tandem yeah. with each other. So how can I talk to Randy about this topic or that topic? What What's your favorite memory together? Hmm. That's hard. Wow. I think our last vacation in Florida was, was yeah. my favorite. You know, we really good. capitalized on being able to relax a little bit. We did film a little bit with Christina, and mm -hmm. um, and that was awesome. But that was all that we really worked. I mean, you did a couple of your calls. We don't really fully relax ever. No. Um, Reese runs the Chicago branch here, um, and obviously you guys know I'm a full-time student and a full-time YouTuber, so we don't actually really ever take time off. But we did That was the most that we could, yeah. being workaholics, capitalize on some I think, and we'll get, rest. well, I think we might get better at that too as we go along. Turning um, it off is very yeah. difficult for us. We're both, we both will work ourselves to literal death. Yeah. So. We, we, we're, we're definitely very ambitious. We're goal oriented and, you know, learning how to throttle down a little bit. You know, we don't have to put it all the way in the park. We, we can throttle down and enjoy the time. Yeah. I can tell you what my favorite is. What? I don't know if you know it. Um, having Riley. That really? first day, like, and I mean, I'm, I'm you know, because it's like together. Well, of course, we had to be together because we're in the room, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but just having her in that room for the first 24 hours, where you know, we we got, you know, she came into the world, you know, we got to see her, we got to be with her. Of course, that nurse was coming in all the time, but they we have just, to. yeah, you know, we got to talk a lot, you know what I mean? And and you were obviously tired, and I just, for me, I can really remember that first day in the hospital. I can't remember the first couple of weeks, maybe at home or anything. It took, a, it took a yeah. really hard left yeah. <laughs> after we left oh, the hospital yeah. because um, Riley had colic, acid reflux, and then she started teething. She so. was a tough baby, but I, I can remember <laughs> that the, 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 when you had her, I can remember coming to the hospital. I can almost even, I mean, I know what I was wearing. He locked his keys in the car, you guys, yeah. and I told him I was in labor. I was like shaking. I'm like, I have to call Reese, and I'm shaking. And the doctor's like, oh, he has about four hours to get here. I'm like, he has 20 minutes. What are you talking yeah. about? I'm not doing this alone again. Just, just the whole, you you know, the whole day been able to hold her yeah. and yeah, I can remember it that. It was special. It was. Recently for me, it was our vacation of Florida. Yeah, that we needed good, that too. break from we everything, did. so. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you guys been together? It'll be 6 December 15th. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I got that right. Aw. Um, when's my birthday? September... 15th, 15th, 15th. Yes, and his is the 17th. Yeah. At 11. Hmm? At 11. At 11? I am. This is when you were born. Really? Yeah. Because Skylar was born before oh, you. Oh, okay. I guess. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. Now I know. All right. It does feel a lot cooler in this room. I like mm. it. What is your favorite quality about me? Hmm. I'm so glamorous. Hmm. I'll tell you because it's big, it's, it's big for me. Okay. There's a, I, I could do like a top five, but if you want mm -hmm. something that I think is super important that I, I believe for me, I, I saw really quickly and I, and I appreciate it. It kind of goes back to some of the things that we, you know, the discussion about, you know, you talking to Randy and other people, Jessica is very, very loyal. And if you're on her team, you're on her team. You know what I mean? Like she's not really half in half out. And, uh, 
that's a really big selling point when you're talking about relationships and playing this distance game of life. And um, you know, I think you know she kind of does that ride or die thing you know, with her, with her, with <laughs> her, with her, with her, um, with her merch. Is that what it's called? Is it called merch? It is, okay, yeah. cool. I've watched a couple of videos. I know, um, but Jessica is a is a highly loyal person, and um, she you know she will stand with you you know whether you're winning or losing, and she will stick up for you even if you're wrong because she knows that's that's her job. And uh, for me, I think that's a big quality. Oh, are you gonna cry? A little. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Didn't think I was coming out. I was you? nervous that you were gonna say some <laughs> really nice shit to me, and I was gonna cry. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is. I mean, there's some other qualities that I think are really, really fantastic about you. But for me, that's a that's a big one. You know what I mean? I I'm think. like that with my friends, also. Yeah. If she you're is. wrong at a restaurant. Girl, I got you. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you in the car how dumb you are. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm I'm loyal, but I'm also honest, you know. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, um, my favorite quality about you, honestly, it's a lot. Like, it's you a got, lot. You gotta pick one. You gotta pick one. What's the top one? I mean, I just look up to you in such a way. Like, you're so hardworking and disciplined and focused, and I admire that because I am I'm like that also. But it's so much. You're so smart. And, and you're also loyal. I can't just pick one. She's just polishing it here, isn't she? I can't just pick one. You know, even if we were to break up tomorrow, I have so much respect for you that I would hope that we would always be friends. Yeah. You know, and I, I really do love the person that you are. And I think it's been amazing to watch you go from sleeping on a couch, homeless, to running <laughs> the Chicago branch at your company. And yeah. I'm so proud of you. And I get a backseat to that. I get to watch you yeah. achieve every single goal that you wanted to achieve. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how do you both deal with PTSD? Ooh, wow. Can you want to go first? Because <laughs> I, I got to try to. I got to. I got to try to come up with my answer. See if I can bring it into focus. Okay. So the way that I deal with my personal PTSD is I am aware that it is existent. You know, I've tried to say in the past, oh, I'm not really sure. I had a situation uh, last week in Walmart that just was like. I, I have PTSD. I need to not go in a grocery store ever again and do pick up grocery. Um, I was very overwhelmed and I almost broke down and had like a full mental breakdown in Walmart because it was so crowded. The aisles were so dirty. People kept hitting, like running into me. I know I'm small, but like when people are like, oh, sorry, Ugh. I was like, and it kept happening and like I was like almost hyperventilating. You could feel yourself escalating. Yeah. Right. And it was really, really bad. I had to leave and yeah. So for me, I'm honest and I I try not to put myself in situations where I'm going to be stressed. But my PTSD is a lot less than Reese's PTSD. Mm -hmm. So the way that we deal with it with for him is we curtail our lives around what we know will make him uncomfortable and what won't make him uncomfortable. So And if, I think if we know it's something that I have to I mean, you can't just be a hermit or you yeah. can't, you, there's, there's things that are going to require me to be in situations that I'm uncomfortable with. There are things that we can do to try to counterbalance that. Right. You know, sometimes it's limiting the time. There, there, there are a lot of other things that we have learned to adapt and overcome the, that, that feeling, that angst and mm -hmm. to keep me from being, you know, in a position where I'm going to escalate to the level that I am so uncomfortable that when she looks at me, she can tell immediately we need to leave. You know what I mean? We um, don't want it. We don't want to get it to that point. So I think it's something that your family doesn't doesn't necessarily. I mean, they know you have PTSD, but I don't think they recognize the signs as much as I do because I'm with them every day. And I don't think they fully understand the, 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 how uncomfortable yeah. you get. So, um, for example, if we're in a restaurant and the waitress sits me with my back to the wall and I can see the whole restaurant, I immediately know that Reese wants to sit there. Yeah. So even though I want to sit there and that's my seat as my jam as well, I'm not as uncomfortable as he is. So I allow him to sit with his back to the wall so he can see the exits, he can see everything and see the floor plan. I just know that makes him feel better. If we are going to an airport, I know that he is mission oriented. I know that we can't just stop at Starbucks and oh look, there's a purse store over here. I know that we have to find the gate, we have to figure out every the layout and where we're going and then I can ask to go get a Starbucks you know so I'm just very aware that he has to get there and get on plan say we are at a grocery store we don't go in a grocery store <laughs> Reese doesn't go in a grocery store if it's with me and the kids because we are very like ooh, it's shiny stuff again mission-oriented mm -hmm. so we do pick up grocery 
um, or we Amazon Prime stuff to the house. You've got to have little periods of decompression. Mm -hmm. yes. I think you know yeah. you're going to have a certain level of uncomfortability mm -hmm. that you just have to accept. Um, but you know, for me, I can't have an all-day outing in the city, walking around, going into stores, going into restaurants, and then go to the aquarium, and then go to you know the movie. <laughs> the, at, at a certain point, mm -hmm. she can see I start to deteriorate very, very quickly, and it, I've got to retreat back, decompress, kind of center myself, and then I can reload and go again. You know, it's just. And I think being honest with ourselves is important too. So we weren't always this aware of Reese's PTSD. No. We didn't talk about it. And I'm just like, why are you being such a freaking buzzkill all the time, bro? Shit. Yeah. And that was me being extremely insensitive and not fully understanding what he's going through. And I don't think, and, it, and in turn, it wasn't really your fault. I think I always just failed to recognize it. Yes. I didn't want to Both. admit that, that, what it was, that mm -hmm. that's what it was. That's what I was dealing with. I think I always just kind of put it to the back of my mind and just... I really don't. I don't think I ever. Like I said I don't ever. I don't think I ever brought my behavior, the way I was feeling, reacting to situations, to the forefront and addressed why am I being affected by this? Why am I feeling like this? Why am I reacting like this? I don't. I, don't, I think it's it, it's been pretty recent in our in, in the last year. Yeah. And I also just want to give a little shout out here to um, a fellow YouTuber who has helped me understand it more okay. and helped me understand what it is that you go through. So Gman5338 is a friend of mine that has a YouTube channel and talks about PTSD. He is also a veteran that struggles with extreme PTSD, so much so that he has therapy in his house because he does not like leaving his house so much. Mm -hmm. um, and he really just helped me maybe make things a little bit more comfortably and explain to me that you're mission oriented and explain to me that we have to center, get the layout and then proceed with other things. You know, yeah. it has to be step by step process when we do things. Um, did, really? So. Did you do that? Mm -hmm. that Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, G-Man. <laughs> yeah, he really has helped. I mean, because you used to like, we we would be walking around and stuff and just be like, like, a, like, oh, a squirrel. Like we just go rogue on stuff. I'm like, it doesn't work that way for me. I've got to know exactly what we're doing, exactly where we're going. I've yeah. got to see everything in front of me. Like, So even though I'm a psychology major in my fourth year and I have studied PTSD, I've had full classes on PTSD, it wasn't until a veteran was like, girl, yeah. mission-oriented men, like he has to do it this way, that I was like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. So yeah, big shout out to G-Man. He really has helped our relationship. It's good. People should check out his channel. If I should you don't, send him a check yeah. or something. Yeah, for sure. For the therapy that I've received. <laughs> um, but no, I, I'm, a, I'm very grateful to anyone that has helped my journey, whether it's in my personal life or on YouTube. And It's really awesome how you can have a channel like this and, and other people can have channels and they can discuss topics, they can present yeah. content that you can reach out. It's a really good community. I think that's really awesome to know that you, know, you got that from this, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm sure other people get the same kind of effect, you know, or get some sort of residual feedback so. that helps them address issues in their life. So I hope so. Okay, one uh, last question. One more. One this more. is like nine years long. Oh wow. Actually we'll do two because they're really tiny. Oh. What was your first impression of each other? <laughs> that, that that question is so simple and jarring. <laughs> My first impression of you um, was inaccurate. Was it? Yeah. I give that inaccurate I presentation, thought, don't I? I thought that you were just going to talk about working out and being on some freaking diet and I'm just like not into it, bro. I thought you were a douchebag. You go to the gym every day, but I thought you would only want to talk about the gym and like, mm -hmm. you know, what you're going to eat that day, you know? And I just thought that was not for me. I think, okay, were you very impressed with how little I talked about those things? I actually was. Yeah. Yeah. You just said I'm going to the gym. He doesn't talk about it unless you ask him. If you ask him a diet plan or a meal plan yeah. or, or how to maximize a workout, he'll tell you, but it's not something that we're just like yeah. always talking I'd about. I'd like to think I'm a little deeper than a a plate of cereal. I've got some more things to discuss. Um, You're not as shallow as a plate of cereal? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so I really appreciated that. We could have an open conversation. Reese is very intelligent. And that, like, I was so attracted to how intelligent he is. And I was like, dang, bro, I was wrong. I was wrong. You can buy me dinner. What was your first impression of me? Um, in talking with you, like I said, because of, you know, maybe my experiences with women or, you know, because of my addiction and kind of things I went with, I was very taken back by your ability to be relatable and communicate and discuss real topics, you know, I think, you know, and, and describe what was going on in your life, talk about things that you were trying to achieve. I was really blown away. I think, you know, my, my first impression was you're just going to be another, another girl that I'm going to smash. You know what I mean? So, um, 
you know, hey, you know, that's men, right? Jeez. But I think, you know, <laughs> my, my first impression, you I know, appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, I get to read it. <laughs> you get to read it. Um, it says, what is both of your biggest life advice to say to each other? I hope that makes sense. I get it. I don't think English was first, first language. Oh, okay. I get it. Right. Um, so what would be the best advice that we give each other? You give great advice. You can start. Um, I'll, I'll coin, um, I'll reference a, a, a recent topic that, that, that we discussed that I think was a big moment for us that, where I, I tried to give you some good advice and I, I think it landed well. You know, I've always, it's always been really easy for Jessica to see things in an optimistic light for me and to, to appreciate the goals that I'm trying to, to, to achieve and that I deserve my success and she's so proud of me. And you know, the biggest thing that I, you know, I, the best advice I, I've given her recently was that she deserves that too. You know, oh, she's trying to achieve all these things. She's a mother, you know, a wonderful mother to our kids. She's completing her school. She's overcome all these things. She's, you know, have a successful channel where she's reaching and helping people and, and changing lives. And I think that, you know, she was very, very discouraged because she didn't feel like she deserved that success and she didn't deserve to, to have those nice things. And I think my advice for her was don't be afraid to dream big. You know, your dreams should scare you a little bit. You should almost be intimidated and you deserve everything you get because you've worked really hard for it. And so that, you know, that was something I think that really cracked through here recently. And, and, and she does, you know, and I, it was, I just never really understood it. I never told her that because she sees that so much for me. And she's communicated that and she just always has told me, you know, all the things that I'm capable of and I never... <laughs> I have to film a video after this, like oh. I'm crying off my makeup. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> and I just never really stopped to think, you know, and, and that's why she struggled, you know, and I, and that was my, the best advice that, you know, she said she should enjoy it, enjoy and appreciate her success. She deserves every, every ounce of it. Um, you know, she, she's doing a fantastic job and she, you know, she, she is everything she wants to be, and she said she's going to be, and she's delivering. What? You ate all the cookies. Yeah. Oh, all the cookies. Oh, oh, there's all, all the cookies. You okay. ate all the cookies? Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to film a video after this video, and I cried off my makeup because that was really sweet, and I love you so much. Okay. Um, my advice to you is, um. And I, I've said it a lot over almost six years. I'm struggling to hold still. <laughs> Are you struggling? Um, so your biggest problem is that you will get a promotion or succeed in some way at work and you're already like, when's the next one coming? How can I get the next one? And you don't really appreciate or take a step back and um, enjoy that moment just for a moment. You know, I'm not saying ever get complacent. I'm just saying enjoy it as it comes a little bit more. So yeah. slow down. It'll come. You'll get it. Cause you, you want that VP title. That's what we're going yeah, for. We're, we're, we're going we're for an executive to... level job. That's what we want. I probably, I do that, you know, professionally, I think personally, Jessica's mm -hmm. has always tried to be a sounding board and she tried to be the voice of reason for me. Cause for me, forward movement is everything. Yeah. And, and sometimes that whole, you know, stop and smell the roses concept you really need to be told to stop and smell the roses yeah. and, and and Jessica's done a good job of trying to get me to to slow down and appreciate because you know if, if we get something you know we'll get you know better in furniture or something I'm like oh you know in a few months I'm like this is trash we should buy better stuff wait, wait, let's start playing about it. you know I, I, I just don't I'm, I'm always trying to set the bar a little higher for everything we do everything and you know I think she's she's really been good you know kind of a, a counterbalance to my to my 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 drive and to tell me like you're we're doing really good stop and appreciate what we have and what we've accomplished and and look around you know and, and enjoy it so we also compare our success to other people that don't have as much as us on yeah. a daily basis mm -hmm. so we're very grateful of every single thing that we have a fridge that has food in it the bills are paid and like in my early sobriety I clung on to those things so hard. You know, I did not pay the rent with drug money. I didn't buy the groceries with drug money. I'm doing really well. I might have only had $13 in my bank account. Yeah. I might have had to overdraft that first year to get gas. Yeah. Um, but I was doing it the right way and mm. I knew that more would come. As long as I stayed sober, as long as I worked hard, 
more success would come. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important that we don't forget where we came from. Absolutely. And that with our success, we also help pull others up with us well, because yeah. our success means yeah. nothing if we can't help other people. It, so. it, it is definitely a concept that it's so much better if, if you win together. Yeah. Yeah. So. We've built an amazing life mm -hmm. outside of drug addiction together. We have. And, you know, I think that we, we, we do a really Check. good job of, of always trying to be cognizant and remind each other of yeah. that for sure. We, we have... We have got white collar problems compared to a lot of the, the, the people out there still struggling. Yeah. A lot of the people that, you know, are in addiction that have financial struggles in this country, around the world, you know, for us to ever complain about something or nitpick our lives to death would be so petty and so small because there are a lot of people out there that, that, that are still struggling in addiction financially, you know, with, with, with mental health issues, you know, in, in, down the street, in our neighborhood, in this country, around the world. And it's just, you know, it would be, it would be, like I said, it would, it would be a, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm trying to grab the word, but it, it would just be a disservice to ever complain about all the things that we have in our life that we should be grateful and thankful for, because there's a lot of people that never get to achieve this stuff that, that we're enjoying every day. We have, yeah. we have, we have a wonderful life. Okay, so after an hour long video. Whoa! <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah. It's okay. A lot. It's a All long, right. it's a long video. Is that, there anything that, else? That's some good questions. No, there's, that's it for right now. Um, I think that we can circle back to this. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we, we've, you know, if you throw it out there again, people may have some, some questions that we can peel through. You know, I, I really appreciate you guys giving me the chance and the opportunity to come on and be a part of this, you know, this thing that you're doing and, and have a voice, you know, and I hope that I, I can contribute in a positive manner. <laughs> you do. Your stories are great and you have a comeback story oh. of your own. So. Oh yeah, we got, we got some stories. We got stories. We, we, want to break <laughs> we need to film with Reese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. There's been so many times where he should have been in prison Ooh. or dead. Yeah. So. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we've got some deep ones. We've got some good ones. We've got some funny ones, yeah, but for sure. Yeah. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Also, I just want to thank you guys for getting the Jessica and Reese show up to 10,000 yeah. subscribers Word. today. So thank you We need you some guys. good video ideas for that. Yeah. Thank you guys so much yeah. for supporting us on both channels. That means so much. If you're not subscribed, link down below. Um, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to go and I'm going to cry just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay sober. Do not break the law. And I'll see y'all in my next one.